Okay, guys, so dumbbell row 101. So we're going to go through all the, all the sort of fundamentals of the dumbbell row. Now, there's a few ways you can do the dumbbell row, and it depends how it's programmed on your, um, on your SOS app. What I tend to do, you know, some, some people really have, they, they, they lift with a lot of ego, so I'll, I'll give different variations based on, you know, the client and, and the perspective. But obviously, dumbbell row, make sure the, the leg um, is giving you a nice stable base. You see a lot of people make the mistake and they only take up a small portion of the bench. So you'll see some new people come into the gym and they, they're like in this position, they're quite hunched over and they're doing the roll like this and it's not good. So my first advice would be, get your knee nice and far back. That knee needs to be perpendicular to the floor. You don't want it. You don't want, you don't want to be sitting back on the heel. You want to be sitting, kneeling out of it. Okay. So you want to be tall. Your other hand goes nice and high. So this foot then goes wide. So you're taking up the whole real estate, okay? We're not like this, okay? We're taking up the whole real estate. So that's the first thing, getting that nice solid base. Um, more stability is gonna allow you to lift more weight, and obviously more load is gonna create more tension through the back. Now, the dumbbell row in this form. Okay, we're not isolating the lats, okay? You're also working the scapular retractors, the rhomboids, and a bit of the upper portion and mid portions of the lats. You're not really hitting the low fibers of the lats. You might see um, some bodybuilders do an arc row, and this is where, yeah, you arc it in, and that's really targeting the lower fibers of the lat, and it's, it's, it's taking out the scapular retractors and the, um, and the rhomboids, and that's more like a straight arm pull down variation. So that's how we can really target the lats and isolate them on a row. But we're looking at this variation. So get your nice wide base, hand there. The first thing we want to do is retract the scapula. Now when we retract, I'm not bending the elbow, okay? I'm retracting first. I'm retracting that scapula back and down, and then I'm rowing in, squeezing and releasing. The next mistake people make with back training and any rows is not pausing, okay? So the muscle's gonna be working more as you get right in, a bit like the bench press. The bench press, you, you're working more in the shortened position. It gets harder at the bottom, okay, um, in the bench press. On a row, it gets harder as we come in, okay? A bit like a chin-up, it gets harder towards the top, okay? So you wanna make sure you're spending more time here and then releasing. Pulling in, pausing, releasing. Pulling in, pausing, and releasing. Now with me, because I'm quite experienced, if you look, I retract and row at the same time. So I, I, I'm quite experienced, been doing it a long time. I retract and row simultaneously. Okay? If we want to make this exercise better, try and get into a bit more of a stretch. So rather than just going straight down and up, take the dumbbell slightly forward. By taking it more slightly forward, you're lengthening that lat and have a slight arc on the row. So remember this one? Yeah. We don't want to be doing it as, as big as that, but taking it slightly further forward into a stretch and then pulling back slightly towards the hip, you will feel the lat working a lot more. So there's a slight arc on the row. We're not just going straight up and down. Okay, by going straight up, I'm just targeting sort of Whenever you pull, the line of pull you're targeting, so I'm just targeting sort of a bit more rear delt. Yes, a bit of lap, but not a major muscle group. By having a slight arc, I'm working the lats a lot more, but still getting scapular retractors and rhomboids. Now, if you're not feeling your lats or your back at all, practice that retraction movement, and also make sure that when you row, you add that pause. Okay, release. Retract, row, add that pause. If you're going too heavy, what might be happening is you're rotating, yeah, you're rotating too much um, and you're using momentum and momentum is not what you want, okay? Currency, uh, the currency of muscle growth is control. A good variation you can do, if you do find you start rocking, is to put your head on the bench. By having your, 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 uh, your forearm on your head is a great way to minimize any rocking because as soon as your head comes away, that's the signal that you're actually cheating and you're using momentum. So hopefully just have a little play with those tips, a wider base, taking up the more real estate of the bench 
uh, retracting and rowing, adding that pause and adding a slight arc, you should feel your, your, you know, your, not just your lats, but your lats, your rhomboids, all the muscles around your scapula light up a lot more. Give it a go. Let me know how you feel.